Os konnichiwa minasan and welcome to Osta Karate. And in this video, we're going to go through a small section of Seisan Kata. And before we get started, I'd like to ask you to go to udemy.com and in their search bar, you can type Ishinguru Karate or my name, John Osta, or the course title, Dissect the Dissection of Ishinguru Karate. If you go to Udemy and type that in, you'll find my course, and I hope you might consider on signing up as a student. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. This is the technique we're gonna look uh, at a little closer. Those of you that know Seisan, you're gonna immediately recognize it, but those that don't, here it is. The kata has a starting out in nekodachi, right? And the left foot steps out, and the left hand swings down like a hammer. Now, here's where the interesting stuff starts to happen. The back foot is going to slide towards the front foot. And then we're going to raise our fist and go into a back fist toward our opponent. And then the kata has us reset. But I'm not considered uh, not cons uh, worried about that reset in this video. That's uh, for another time. Right now, what I want us to look at is what happens when this back foot slides forward. All right? You're going to see that we can use this technique not only in self-defense, but also in sparring and in fighting. All right? So, if I could get my partner, I have a, my partner's going to help me um, show this illusion show this technique that is um, uh, almost magical. Pay close attention, all right? If your opponent is concerned with distance, they're gonna feel safe because they're gonna be farther, uh, you're gonna, they're gonna feel farther apart from you than they actually are, all right? Now here's what I mean. We're gonna start off with being very strict to the kata, and I wanna ask my partner to Come in with a low kick. Now we're gonna do this slowly first, sir, and so the folks can see. So he's gonna come in with a front kick, and I'm gonna hammer, just like the technique said, I'm gonna come down with a hard hammer into the shin. Now, from here, I'm not able to reach my opponent, but here's where the magic happens. As my back foot comes in, I'm able to snap through my opponent's head. Watch again. When they kick, if I don't move my foot, there's no reach. But the technique says to step out as that happens. Now I still cannot reach, but the kata addresses that and tells us to keep our knees bent and close that distance. And now look, I can go not just at the opponent, but you can go through the opponent. Right. Here it is a little faster. We're going to do it first medium speed, sir, and then we're going to do it fast. All right, so here we go. All right, now here it is, kind of, kind of, kind of a little bit faster. As y'all know, I like to watch my, my microphone. We don't want anything to happen to that thing. So here we go, sticking to the kata now. Sticking to the kata. Height. Now, you're going to see that. Thank you. You're going to see that you're causing pain, not just here, but when the opponent fires his kick, we're going to cause pain even here. Pain is pain, whether it's at the end of the appendage or anywhere on the body. So when he comes in, we want to strike with pain, get their mind onto that as we close the distance and strike where I like to strike the eyeball. I want to smash it like a grape, right? sending them back. It's a soft target. It's very difficult to tighten your eyeball. All right. Now, I said a second ago that we're going to use this also in fighting. So if my opponent is throwing a front punch, a, a straight punch, to my belly. Notice how as I go back, he's going to throw it. Notice as I go back, I'm dropping this hand down. 
All right, just like the kata says, except in this case, it's open. So as this opponent fires their punch, I am going to close this in and strike again through my opponent's head. Thank you. All right, let's do that again. Let's, let's, let's try it from this side this time. All right. And uh, by the way, in our kata, in Cezanne, it teaches us to do this on both sides. So now I'm going to stack them. Come in with his kick. I'm going to smash and ride through. Now, I want to reiterate. Thank you. Thank you. I want to make, reiterate and make sure that you understand that there is an illusion here. Something magical is happening. If my opponent and I are this far away, I cannot touch him with my jab. But as I'm firing my jab, you can sneak that foot forward. Now, while the eyes are focusing on the fist, he's not paying attention to the foot. So as we're moving around, and I'm playing, and I'm popping, and he's popping, and he's fighting me, and he's doing his thing, the whole time I'm sneaking my front foot forward. Now I pull it back and this allows me to come through and close that distance before my opponent is aware and is able to, to uh, react to it. All right, now, you all right, sir? Yes, master. Okay. All right, so we're coming to the end of this video. Again, I don't want you to, I didn't want in this video to go through too much bunkai with this because honestly, in this section, there's some grappling involved. There's a takedown involved. There's all kind of stuff involved. But one thing that is occurring that we tend to not focus on is this illusion, this almost like this magic trick of closing the gap and getting closer to our opponent just by bringing in and sliding in the back foot, all right? And the beauty is it's taught to us in our kata and seisan, all right? Very, very um, important um, concept to understand because when you can apply this in fighting, then those that can control distance and timing controls the fight. So if you can control that distance and you can make your opponent feel safe when they're back here, when the whole time you're setting up a trap and closing that in for that hard back fist shot into the opponent's face, jaw, eye. Today we're striking at the mouth. All right. All right, sir. How about, how about if somebody has a weapon? Okay. Like, um, like, well, weapons are another, okay. Is that a weapon? Huh. All right. That, that is a weapon. That is a weapon. That is for another video though. All right. Thank you so much. That is, uh, interesting. Now, nice belt, by the way. Yes which I have a question about. Say someone gets your belt and they just yank it off. I won't okay. yank off my belt because I right. don't want anybody to see. Oh, I've got one over here. I get, okay. Okay, what's your question? So say someone takes it off and they're just here, like this. Okay, just, that's why I don't like scarves. Right, but say they just get it around your neck, what uh -huh. do you do? Well, let's get in closer. I'm gonna show you, all right? All you have to do and by the I way, this is why this I don't belt. like. I don't have this belt. You ripped it off. Yes, and, and I ripped yours off, and I tied it around you. Or you, you know, it happened. This is not a good situation to be in. That's why I don't <laughs> like scarfs. You all right? What you want to do is you want to grab here, okay, and then you're going to pull. All right? You're going to pull quickly, and you can get out of that very, very easily. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to bow. Great. Hey. You were wonderful. You are wonderful. 
Los. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, karate is serious, but it can be fun too. And we're not just learning technique. What? We're not just learning how to, to defend ourselves in these katas, but we're also learning special strategies and techniques, just like we learned here about closing distance, using the technique, using the footwork. So please continue to study your karate, look close in it, dissect the dissection. Please check us out on udemy.com. And I thank you so much. We'll see y'all in the next video. Domo, arigato, gozaimashita.